on a hot afternoon in late summer, my pal Dave and I set out upstream to fish my home waters. With air temperatures above 90 degrees, we hoped distant wildfire smoke would provide enough imitation cloud cover so the trout would be feeding on the surface. We started off with hopper droppers, a grasshopper tied on first with a second fly as a dropper. My dropper was a beadhead flashback pheasant tail. While my dropper was popular with little fish, Dave was getting some good action on his hopper. My home waters of Rock Creek flow through forested parts of the Lolo and Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest. This blue ribbon trout stream is home to West Slope cutthroat trout, rainbows, browns, and bull trout. Little calabatus, dry. That was beautiful. That's a decent fish. So a big moose has just stepped into the creek and eyed me with suspicion, reeling up as fast as I can to prepare for whatever is next. I, of course, wrap my line around some rocks. I still wonder if I would have had enough sense to just drop the rod in case he charged. Nah, <laughs> probably not. Dave, big moose, big moose. So you might be wondering why I would be concerned about moose. After all, I spent a lot of years in New Hampshire and moose weren't really a big deal then. They were kind of afraid of you. Well, this happened to me on Georgetown Lake in July. This crazed badass went on a rampage terrorizing all in the cove. Then, overcome with either rage or rabies, this evil bitch went on a duckling killing spree. 
I'll bet that guy in the flow tube needed a fresh pair of tidy whities after this was over. The big bull was just interested in getting something to eat and a drink of water. And when he was done, he sauntered off and left us alone. Now back to fishing. Let's see if you get one of Bob's uh, purple <laughs> hazes in them. Yep. So that was on the black ant. Black. changed up my fly and I went back to the hopper. Such a nice grassy bank seemed like the appropriate thing to do. Made the perfect cast and there it was. I just hooked the biggest fish of the day, a nice brown trout. And what do I do? Shut the damn camera off. Even with my mishaps, it was a great day. Now for the slow ride home down the bumpy road. I'm gonna go make some dinner for Tim. See you next time.